I want to talk a little bit about fear today. You know, in the Bible, it talks about fear not so many times. Fear not and be not dismayed. <laughs> well, you know what? When you're a fearful person, that scripture will come up all the time. Everybody will talk to you about fear. Everybody will talk to you about not being afraid. But um, nobody will talk to you about how to get out of this fearful situation. Now, um, for me, I've been kind of afraid to, to talk in front of people for ever. And I have a sister friend that always tells me, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And I'll say, yeah, I can do it when the time is right. When I'm ready to do it, I'll be able to do it. But the bottom line is that I was afraid, that I have been afraid. And this seems to be my year. So 2020 is my year. I mean, I've been saved for since 1983, you count the years. I've been saved, I've been in ministry. I, you know, I became a minister in 2002. And um, since that time, I haven't really been doing what the Lord has been telling me to do. So it's not about getting out and speaking in public. It's about being, understanding who you are, knowing your worth and, and knowing that you're chosen and not being fearful to say that, not taking a step back, not saying, oh, I'm just going to stay in the background. It's okay to be in the background, but not just say I'm staying in the background as a um, facade and not knowing your worth will cause you to take a back stand. And I know that over the years, um, I've been a mentor to many um, young women and I've been um, very good one-on-one. -on -one. But when it came to talking in a group of people, I just froze. And I know that that was fear. And right now, I declare and decree that fear cannot live in my life anymore. I have to do what the Lord tells me to do when he tells me to do it. Now, that's not to say, you know, for many years, excuse me, and I, I digress, for many years, I allowed people to tell me what I was supposed to do and what I was supposed to be. So now, I believe that I'm hearing the Lord tell me, to go forward and do what he tells me to do, which is a big deal. It's a big deal, and I'm happy about it. I'm glad that we're we're moving on in in this um, pandemic, and I like to hate to keep calling this pandemic and talking about it because right now people are so worked up and so filled with anxiety and depression and things like that. So, but I believe that we're supposed to move forward and do what God tells us to do because he's coming back and he's coming back soon. So you want to be prepared. You want to go out there and do what he tells you to do and not walk in fear because he's coming back and you want to be ready to receive him when he comes back for you. And the thing is, that what I started thinking about was, Lord, if you came back would I really be ready? Because I don't believe that I've said or done the things that you've told me to say or do. So would I really be ready? Even though I love you, even though I serve you, even though I'm living a saved life, would you really come back for me if I haven't done all that you've told me to do? Now, for some people, doing all means being busy all the time and doing the next best thing and, and, and always being out there doing stuff. That's not what I think that he's telling me to do. I think that he's telling me, be still and know that he is God. And when he tells me to do something, be prepared to do it. Not when people tell me to do it, but you always need people to tell you and push you and nudge you. And he will use a person. God will always use a person. However, Know, have the knowledge of God in your heart so that when somebody tells you to do something quickly, Holy Spirit will tell you if, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do or no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Now, for years, I've done so many things. I've, I've fed the poor. I've done all kinds of things, you know. I've, I've done all kinds of missions in my area. I haven't gone away on mission trips, but I've done things on, on, in my own area. Um, I've been an encourager. I am an influencer. 
So I've, I've helped people all different ways, you know, and it, and it wasn't me. I mean, it was works. It was really works. And I thought that I was really doing what God told me to do, but I don't know that I truly was because there were times when I didn't want to, and I did it begrudgingly, and then um, I was tired. So was that really for God or was it for me? See, we have to find our own truth and we have to be um, fearless enough to tell what our real truth is because, you know, a lot of times, and I'm not talking about anybody else except me, you, you put on this little face for everybody. You know, you put on this, I'm holier than thou for everybody, but in your heart, it's wicked. And you know, the Lord tells us that we're wicked in our heart. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying that I ask the Lord every day to clean my heart up, that I would not be wicked, that, that, that I would choose to live a life of Christ, that I would choose to want to do um, things however he tells me to do, whatever he tells me to do. Um, I've shied away from getting out there and, and, and doing things that most you can find doing it now on Facebook and things like that. Um, and I spend a lot of time just praying for people, you know, praying for things, praying for the world and trying to hear from God. And I do believe that he talks to me and I do um, have a prophetic side of me and, and I'm not fearful anymore. What he tells me to say, I will say. What he tells me to do, I will do. I declare and decree that I am free today, free to be in him free to be loved by him, free to, to um, understand the greatness in me because he chose me, be because he made me, before, because he considered me, because I'm his child. And so this has been a crazy year for me. I've gone through anxiety. I've gone through stress. I've put my family through a lot of stuff, like sit there and watch me be sick. And I'm being sick. Um... It's not God, and I recognize that now. It's not God. I recognize that 2020 has been a year of revelation for me. It's been a year of saying, what do I really believe? I can speak it. I can tell you who I believe in, but what do I really believe? And what he has instilled in me is that the work is finished. It's already complete. I've already done the thing. So all you have to do is step in it. And if you step in it, things will turn out right for you. So I thank God for today. I thank God for 2020. It hasn't been all bad. I mean, actually, he will take the, the, the bad and turn it for his good. Isn't that what his word says? So I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to do what I need to do in him. I'm not going to be a mess because we can be a mess. So I'm not going to be a mess. So I thank all of you for listening today. I hope you've been encouraged by this. I hope you recognize that um, you don't have to walk in fear. And once you determine that you've been living a fear-filled life, then you can move forward because then he allows you. And once you recognize this issue, then he allows you. Then he allows you. To, to be who he wants you to be. So I thank God for 2020 and for me coming into my own. And no matter what age I am or what age I will be, it doesn't matter because he'll use me now. He used me before and he'll use me now and he'll use you. Break the fear. Break the fear. Thank you, Jesus. Bye, y'all.